Now I know this might come off hypocritical after the past day, but I also have my own product to announce. I've been working on for a year or two now. Introducing the the vape <laughs> credit where it's due. That's an untapped market right there. Shit, this this has me thinking, bro. I got I gotta start my own YouTuber food product. Alright, guys. Me and Wes we've been working on a new uh, business proposal. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh ghastly see i'm trying to gentrify uh whippets right so i'm starting my new uh youtuber themed uh whippets company right so we're getting the new i show speed flavor but that's after we get the rights to i show speed our launch flavors are going to be fiesta nachos right then we're gonna have the uh turkey and cheese cracker stackers right i don't know what, what's a prime flavor let's just make that a, a whip it fl i gasly's launching soon bro i got y'all unironically can i get a can i get like a graphic designer in the comments to design a logo for gasly's just <laughs> literally just make a one-on-one -on -one recreation of lunch all right all right sorry sorry logan paul after he sees this <laughs> I, I can already hear him bro smokable <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all are y'all are doing him dirty at this point, bro. How's it going guys? Peep is product placement here i don't know this video is sponsored by lunch lease and yesterday we had some very uh very stupid drama yesterday and it was mainly between logan paul and tommy in it which is probably like the most unexpected drama of this past year like wh what is logan paul doing with a minecraft youtuber why are they beefing but but at the same time ksi was beefing with dan tdm so i mean not like that that was to be expected wait they're both beefing with minecraft youtubers i, ju I just realized like that that has to be like prepped like there's no way that wasn't planned like that is a really weird coincidence like what do these guys have against minecraft like jesus anyways just like ksi logan paul got extremely butthurt at a minecraft youtuber because he decided to poke fun at logan paul i right, look i think it's just a written fact this is just a funny photo okay <laughs> like, logan what are you doing promoting prime during the gossip conflict this is also the same dude that promoted lunchlies during his child's birth so i'm honestly not even surprised here i can't wait for world war 3 to start against russia and he'll be out in the fields vlogging giving ukraine lunchlies or something i don't know but anyways anyways you man child leave me alone <laughs> call me back I think we should handle this like adults. Something you also have to comprehend is that, like, nobody's supporting Logan Paul whatsoever in this situation. Logan Paul is literally crashing out at someone who's 10 years younger than him. Like, Logan is lashing out because you've been neglecting him. Should have chilled with him, buddy. Handle this like adults. I don't think- I, I think like every other comment brings up the Japanese force at this point like this video is haunting him like this video is the devil on his shoulder he's obsessed with you I think that's literally what everyone's thinking all right Jimmy it's your turn which Minecraft youtuber are you gonna have one-sided beef with <laughs> no I'm not even joking it's such a weird coincidence that these two just have such a huge problem about Minecraft youtubers all right let's actually place our bets real quick uh, who's a trending Minecraft youtuber all right, I'm typing in Minecraft let's use in the Minecraft sphere right now Caman 18, yeah, Mr. Beast is gonna beef with Caman 18 next. Watch out, my guy. J just be prepared. Mentally prepare yourself for that. All right, let, let, let's get into the situation. Because Tommy in it decided to pull one of the craziest pro gamer moves of all time. <laughs> but before we get into that, make sure you subscribe because I am so close to 150k. If I hit 150k, then I'm eating lunch leaves and watching the hawk to a podcast i'm going i'm going to torture myself you know what? i might even listen to the thick of it i really want to live in the moment bro life is horrible right now <laughs> 150k i got you <laughs> something important this is the video in question right now 10 hours ago already at almost a million views that is insane all right let's check this out the other day i stared out to the sunset and i asked myself why is the youtube creator economy missing you know, because we have chocolate, we have drinks, we have little YouTubers, baby photos on USB sticks, but... But where do we go from here? Ghastly. Link in bio, bro. I'm sending y'all to Ghastly. I got y'all. I'm the plug. <laughs> I hold the future. Right in my pocket. Vapely. Vapely is an all-new way to make fans feel... Good. Last year I teased Vapely, and the response was so positive that I had to make this dream more a reality. Wait, hold up, wait. <laughs> Unsubscribe, you're the worst. You suck and probably don't smell nice. This looks like absolute trash. I want my fans, you, my core community, to have a product that's going to activate a new, fresh side to you. Make you shine brighter on the sports field. Make you... 
straighter, straighter, straighter. Yo, Tommy and it supports gay conversion therapy. This is supposed, theoretically, this is turning you straighter. I, I don't know what you're on about, but I mean, whatever you do, you talk. <laughs> I'm so proud of us YouTubers too, for just taking the business world by storm. Candy, energy, chocolate. Finally giving the people what they need more of. All right, on the real though, can we just talk about how like, when you go into a Walmart, like every other product on the wall is just a YouTuber product. Like I'm not even joking at this. Joking at this, joking about this. I go to the candy aisle, I just see Feastables, right? Then I see Carl's gummies. I don't know who that is, but you know, he has gummies now and I know he's a YouTuber. And you know what's ironic about this? I'm pretty sure there was an old video about Mr. B saying, if you're a YouTuber, don't start a business. There's literally no point in you starting a business. I wonder if I could pull that up real quick. I think for most people, they would benefit from just doing brand deals mm. as opposed to starting their own business because it's it's just a lot more work than I think they realize. Yeah. And I think like the opportunity cost of like starting a business for two years, right? A brand, if you're an influencer, um, and then promoting and promoting and promoting it because you have no experience in CBG or any of this stuff, it just kind of flopping, never really making any money. It kind of flatlines and then slowly kind of dies, right? That's two years where you could have theoretically been doing, you know, you know, if you're a decent sized creator, like 200K brand deal here, 150K brand deal there, 200K brand deal there. You could have made millions of dollars in brand deals, mm. but instead, and you could have put all that time into your content because not everyone even has their content fully figured out. So building that CPG business will come at a cost of their content and they'll get even less views. So you have to factor all that in. And so it's like, you know, there's one world where millions of dollars in brand deals is what I see a lot of creators. You keep growing your socials and you keep pouring all your energy into it, or you start this CPG brand that you're not even that passionate about. I think people are better off just living off of brand deals than actually starting a business. There's no point. And that's definitely the point that Tommy is trying to get at in the first place. I think the YouTube product market is just so oversaturated. It feels like every other YouTuber is just trying to be a businessman or a businesswoman at this point. I'll go to FYE and I see Minecraft YouTuber toys like literally everywhere. Like at their I think her name's Afmao. That's like the first example I can think of. Go to like an FYE, go to a Target toy section. Like everything is just just Afmau toys, like. Tommy in it is a prophet, and it's very obvious. I'm personally waiting for Mavely to drop. <laughs> Finally, a YouTuber taking advantage of his young, impressionable audience like a man. Tommy actually speaking his mind about Logan and KSI are absolutely pathetic and marketing the children on healthy products. I love Tommy, thank you sincerely. Tommy had one uncomfortable interaction with Mr. Beast and decided to kill him. Musical number, wait, there's a musical number here? No way. This is my product. I am so proud of it. So proud. And go. This is my product. I am so proud of you for buying it. Right off the bat, this is already ten times more listenable than thick of it. All that's missing is a feature from a rapper that fell off super hard. Da baby, where's the da baby feature? <laughs> now, what I'm most impressed with is the fact that he was able to cook this video up so quickly. Like Jesus Christ, the drama literally happened yesterday, and he already has this fully edited video with a music video halfway through it. This, this is impressive, honestly. Props to Tommy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go now. So, yeah.